Boys and girls, here is the amazing story of the phantom white stallion of Skull Valley. Skull Valley is in Arizona, not many miles south of the Grand Canyon. One of the favorite stories of the cowboys is a strange tale handed down by the Navajo Indians. A story of a great white stallion, as wild as the north wind and as fast as a speeding arrow. The Indians claimed he had roamed this land hundreds of years. The white ranchers didn't believe it until many of their horses began to disappear. The first horse thieves were suspected, but there were no clues, no footprints, no hoof marks. Finally, the rangers became desperate. They formed posses and searched the countryside. Then one day, they sighted their missing horses far, far in the distance, headed for Granite Mountain. As they looked, they could hardly believe their eyes, for leading the herd was the phantom white horse of Skull Valley. Later that night, stunned by the spectacle they had witnessed, the ranchers called a meeting. They agreed upon a plan to completely encircle the great white stallion. He must be captured. The sky was dark and cloudy as the determined ranchers started the drive that would bring them to the very brink of the Grand Canyon. All day they pushed forward in vain. As night fell, the black sky began to close in upon them. The thunder roared and the lightning slashed and tore at the sky and earth. Then suddenly, a cry went up for there on a high plateau, their heads high in the excitement of the storm, stood the missing herd. A great white stallion stood proudly in their midst. In a flash, the storm was forgotten and the race for the capture was on. The phantom horse was not to be taken so easily. Like the flashing lightning, he was away, and the faithful herd followed as if drawn by some strange power. They were not to keep pace with the swift stallion whose very life was freedom. The ropes of the ranches were ready as they spurred their horses on to what seemed certain capture. Escape was impossible. The canyon would stop this phantom horse. On and on the stallion raced. Then suddenly there yawned before him the deep, dangerous chasm of Grand Canyon. A flash of lightning illuminated the sky and seemed to hang overhead. Then... With what seemed like a last farewell to the herd and defiance to his pursuers, the white stallion made a mighty screaming leap into space and disappeared. But was the white stallion really gone? Was he dead? Even to this day, boys and girls, when thunder rocks the earth and lightning splits the sky, the Indians tell of having seen a great white steed standing atop some mesa, or racing across the grassy slopes, his mane and tail streaming behind him like the lacy froth from a wind-tossed wave. Is the phantom white stallion of Skull Valley dead? I wonder. <laughs>